So I'm a little bit on the roll today. Uh, this is my second, last video though. Anybody else using Bolt um, here in Ghana? And are you being charged over? To so essentially this is the second time it's happened where the price was exp exponentially higher. So when I was in Accra a couple of months ago, I had a fare that should have been at the most roughly 50 CDs. I was going from the, it was about 50 to uh, 60 CDs actually. I don't even think it would have been that much. But essentially I was coming from the Sakaman area going to uh, Jolu. And by the time that ride was over, I paid 120 some CDs and I complained and I complained and I complained. And all they offered me was 20 CDs, excuse me, not 20, 10 CDs. And uh, as far as the difference, and I was like, you guys don't understand. What if I didn't have the money on me? You quoted me for 60 CDs or whatever it was. And so now today I got literally, and this is the thing. I'm not one of those sneaky people putting, not putting in the stops and all of that. I put in all of my stops and my quote came up for 28 CDs. I'm going locally, not far, and there's no traffic. Why is it that when this guy drops me off, it's 84 CDs? I didn't even have 84 CDs on me. I had to Momo him the money. And so I'm, this is, I messaged the person from uh, Bolt and they're talking about, oh, they give me this little scripted response talking about the quote we gave you was, oh, just in case this and traffic, based on traffic conditions, whoop de whoop de whoop. And I told, I responded. I was like, you know, your scripted response lets me know you do not care. And you guys are comfortable with scamming your customers out of money. Huh? Scamming, because that's what you're doing. Nobody quotes, you don't quote somebody 10 CDs for something, 20 CDs for something, and then triple the price. That is scamming. I'm sorry. If you can't get your shit together and use your AI and all that other bull crap that you guys and you, you use to, to tabulate and, 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 and use, excuse, I can't, my brain, it's not even working because it's, the point is, they have so many applications, software, whatever it's called, at their disposable excuse me, at their disposal, to be able to properly calculate fares. And, and someone on the other end should have a brain and say, you know what, we messed up this one. Let's reimburse the customer or give her a credit on a ride. And we're not talking about 10 CDs when you're talking about we've robbed her of three, so essentially charged her three times the amount. And I'm literally in town. I didn't go far, guys. This is ridiculous. Um, so 84 CDs, so 28 CDs turns into 84 CDs. And again, I didn't have the money on me. So this turns, imagine if I didn't have Momo or another way to pay this guy. That would have been a huge problem. Not because I fucked up, but because the company fucked up and then they're not willing to own their shit. Like I said, I use them very sparingly because of this dumb shit. But at this point, they don't even need business. And I think that other people need to speak out about them getting scammed and being overcharged. So they need to be shut down.